Your laptop is one of the germiest places in your home, and according to some reports, laptops, and more specifically the keyboards attached to your laptop, has more germs on it than a toilet seat. And when's the last time you remember spending a few hours tapping your fingers all over your toilet seat? So with this fascinating tidbit in mind, and since it's been a good four years since we last talked about it, in this video I am going to show you how to defunkify your laptop. For this cleaning job, you're going to need microfiber cloths. We're going to be using a regular weave microfiber cloth, that's this guy, for everything but the screen where we'll be using a flat weave microfiber cloth, mild dish soap, we are not fooling around with aerosol sprays, solvents, abrasives, and for goodness sake, no glass cleaner. Otherwise, you're gonna risk damaging your laptop's finish. Distilled water, no sliding. Slowly, easy, thank you. This is the only thing you should use on your laptop screen since alcohol or ammonia solutions can damage the finish. We are using distilled water, that means no minerals, instead of regular tap water because distilled water won't leave any streaks behind. Although, if you can't find any, tap water will also be okay. It's just not ideal. Compressed air, we use this to blast out all of those crumbs from sandwiches. Optional but good is rubbing alcohol. This is only used on the keyboard, but it's super effective since it dries quickly and really tackles those Finger oils. Also optional, but definitely a good idea. It's in my hair. The pipe cleaner. We use this to clean out any ports or vents in your laptop. You can also use it for crafts afterwards. Before we begin, let's talk about a few do's and do nots we should keep in mind when cleaning our laptop. Do shut down and turn off your laptop completely and be sure to unplug everything from all the ports before you get to cleaning. Do not spray any liquids directly on your computer. This even goes for the outside. You'd be surprised how little moisture it takes to mess things up in there. You wanna spray your cloth away from your computer and then clean it. Do read your user manual. There are usually care instructions in the manual and if for whatever reason you can't find it, just go online and look it up there because frankly, who's gonna know how to clean this better than the guys and gals that made it in the first place. Do not remove your laptop keys unless you know what you're doing. I know it's tempting, but my suggestion would be to consult Google before prying off your keys, seeing as how there are more than a few horror stories about not being able to get them back on and then you never have the letter A or the letter Q and your writing gets all messed up. So do your research first and try to not take off your laptop keys. Do make sure to clean your fan vent if your laptop has one. These can get quite clogged over time because they suck in air, the air has dust, it can clog the fan, your computer can overheat. So you gotta make sure you clean it to keep your laptop in tip top shape. Do not use the dishwasher to clean your laptop. Although it fits in there nicely and seems like a quick and easy solution, it is no place for a laptop. Okay, now that we've got all the precautions and the technicalities out of the way, let's actually get to the cleaning. We'll start with the exterior of the laptop. Let's whip up a simple solution of one cup distilled water and a drop of dish soap. We're going to dip our cloth into the solution and wring it out until it is damp dry. We wanna use as little liquid as possible, so really wring out that cloth. Then just use the cloth to clean the exterior of the case on the laptop, being sure not to get any moisture into the openings. Then find a dry spot on the cloth and buff it dry. Next, let's tackle the keyboard. I'll start by blasting out as many crumbs as possible using the compressed air. Then you can use that same dish soap and distilled water mixture if you like, or you can also use rubbing alcohol. Remember, I said it was optional. It dries super quick and is just as effective as dish soap on oily residue. All you need to do is lightly dampen a cloth with straight rubbing alcohol or with a little bit of that solution and carefully wipe the keys, remembering to get the sides. Then you wanna find a dry corner and buff everything dry. Now for the trackpad and these parts down here, I'm just gonna use that dish soap and distilled water mixture on my cloth. Again, wiping where wet and then buffing everything dry. And for the screen, all you need is a soft, lint-free microfiber cloth, and that's it. You don't need any fancy schmancy screen cleaners, also known as expensive. If for whatever reason there is something on your screen which can't be removed by a dry cloth, 
a lightly dampened cloth with only simple, humble water should do the trick. Finally, you can use the compressed air or the pipe cleaner to blow out or remove debris from the ports and the vents and all the other little hidden areas on your computer. And that's it. Congratulations, you just cleaned your laptop. Cleaning your laptop is like a one on the difficulty scale of life, so show it some love by giving it a quick clean every couple of weeks. And now it's your turn, Clean My Space Nation. Let us know in the comments down below with your clean keyboards. When was the last time you cleaned your laptop? That's right, it is confession time, so get on it. There's more to me than just cleaning tips, you know, so if you wanna find out what I'm up to during the rest of the week, trust me, it gets interesting. You can find Follow me on Instagram, I'm at Melissa Maker. The guy who donned the creepy glasses, well, he is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. It's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're going to love. The first one is seven ways to make your home smell great. We use them all over the house. We love them, they work. The second one is five steps to a cleaner bathroom. Since we talked about how dirty toilet seats were and then compared them to a keyboard on a laptop, which is so gross, I thought that would be an interesting one for you to check out. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are lots of buttons that you can click to do that. One click, very easy all of our videos in your subscription feed. Very worth it and totally free. Thanks guys and we'll see you next week.